Okay, so let's talk about sex determination and sex-linked inheritance of traits. So we've already talked about the X chromosomes for females and X and Y chromosome for males. So if we look at just a Punnett, simple Punnett square of the chromosomes, we've got our male here with the Y chromosome and our female here. And if we look at the possible combinations with respect to these sex chromosomes, we can get a girl, boy, girl, or boy. So 50-50 chance. So that kind of keeps our gender ratios relatively even. Okay, Having two X chromosomes is kind of a safeguard. So the second X chromosome is kind of like a backup plan if there's a malfunction on one of these. So in males, since we just have one X chromosome, we, in terms of me and all the other males out there, since they only have one X chromosome, and the Y is this tiny guy that doesn't have many genes on it, we only really have one shot at getting it right. So you'll find that a lot of diseases associated with mutations on the X chromosome are more common in males because we only need one mutation rather than having two copies of the diseased allele. Okay, so let's look at a example of some problems here. So a colorblind man, let's talk about color blindness. So this is one of those genes where the normal trait for being able to see color, so like this picture here is a typical color test for red, green color blindness. So if you can't see the number 25 here, you are colorblind because okay? you can't distinguish between the reds and the green colors here. But anyway, back to this problem here. Uh, oops, back here. Let's get rid of that. Back to this problem here. So the colorblind man. So we know colorblindness is a X-linked or sex-linked trait. So the man, we know to begin with, he is XY. So we'll use those symbols and we're going to use superscripts to denote the alleles that he has. So he's colorblind and it doesn't say it here, but I'm telling you now, colorblindness is recessive to the normal trait. So he, this is a little c here. And he's going to be crossed with a woman who is a carrier. That's not a term we've mentioned before. But a carrier is a person who has a copy of a recessive disease allele. But because it's recessive, just having one copy, she can see color fine. She's a carrier in the sense that she can deliver that disease trait to the next generation, but she is unaffected phenotypically. So here's her genotype. She is X, X, and we need some superscripts. So she can see normal, so she's got at least one big C, but she's colorblind. She's carrying the colorblindness allele, so she's a heterozygote. Okay, so let's make a Punnett square for this couple here. X C dad is up here and X big C X little C. Okay, so X big C X little C X little C X little C X big C Y X little C Y. Okay, so our girls over here on the left half of this Punnett square of the daughters. So what are the chances their daughter will be affected? So we're asking just specifically for the daughters. So of these daughters, the chances are 50%. Okay, 50% of daughters will be affected with color blindness. The other color blind and the other 50% are going to be carriers. Okay, let me just, and then if we look at with respect to the males over here, the boys, give them blue color, 
This male here is going to be completely normal. Big C in the Y provides no information for viewing color, for the ability to see color. This male, on the other hand, is going to be colorblind. Okay, so we only need to look at the X chromosome here. We can forget about the Y. It doesn't even have that location for the instructions at all. So it doesn't even count. We're just looking at this. Okay, so the same is actually true for their sons. 50% will have it. 50% won't. There, you can't have a carrier that is a male for an X-linked trait because if they have one copy, they have the disease. Okay.